I'm going to commit what is probably the worst possible political faux pas you could commit, which is not announce every single elected official's name uh, in the room and not, uh, and not announce every dignitary because the reality is, is that this whole room is filled with leaders from around the entire North Bay. And that's why you were invited here today, and that's why this event and this conversation today is going to be so special. So we are all so all, uh, honored to have you all here today at the Buck Institute, one of the gems of Nevada, which by, or is not a coincidence, is home to the largest solar facility in Marin County. So make sure you get a chance to acknowledge that and go out and look at the solar facility out there, and we're very proud about that. But over the last couple of years, like many of you in this room, the Nevada City Council has really recognized the urgency of this moment and has prioritized the importance of climate action at the local level. Um, and I could take probably the next, I don't know, hour or so talking about all the different things that we've done in Novato that I'm so proud of, whether it's the fact that we've committed to 100% clean energy or the fact that we've changed all of our LED light bulbs or all of our street light bulbs to LED or we've hired a full-time sustainability and climate officer. But the reality is all of us, no matter where we are throughout the state, if we were giving a talk around the country, could brag about what the North Bay has done to lead on sustainability and the action that we have all collectively taken. But if there's ever an issue that highlighted both the interconnectedness and the interdependence of our communities, it's climate change. And we know that here in Nevada, we can't be successful in reducing our greenhouse gas emissions without working hand in hand with agencies across the region. We know that we can't hit our climate action goals without partnering in a very meaningful way with nonprofits and with businesses and other organizations. And most importantly, we know that we have so much to learn from each and every single one of you who are experts in your own field about what is working, what is not working, what we should be trying, what we should be testing, and how we could push ourselves to be better, to be smarter. And that is really the purpose and the goal of today that we can all be here together to learn from each other. And today, I would say, I would argue, is in many ways already a success, simply by the fact that we're all in this room together, ready and eager to talk to each other, and most importantly, to help each other. And now, of course, we're not going to solve every single problem today, but we will advance our work, and we will come out with progress that we can be proud of. We are all here today because we understand that we have an obligation not just to our children, but to our grandchildren to tackle this issue. And today we have an opportunity throughout the whole day with everything that's been planned, we hope to not just inspire, not just energize each other, which I hope we do, but to take the opportunity to really roll up our sleeves, to ask the hard questions, to share best practices, and to do the fun work of figuring out how do we increase our collaboration and our coordination of all of our efforts to make sure that all of us succeed. Because really, as, as we all know, which is why you're here today, we have no option. Our communities are counting on us to succeed and succeed together. 